इसका दाम क्या होगा कोई बता सकता है आई वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू पार्टिसिपेट हाउ मच टू थाउजेंड बाई ही इज वेरी जेनरस वेल इफ आई राइट लेट से सी ए टी और री बॉक हाउ मच वुड यू गिव नाइन थाउजेंड दैट्स द स्टेट ऑफ एजुकेशन इन दिस कंट्री ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट ऑफ चिल्ड्रन इन द एज ऑफ सिक्स टू फोर्टीन डू नॉट गो टू स्कूल and then we talk of quality education well my philosophy as a teacher is keep it simple if the subject is simple don't make it complicated and uh, if it is complex simplify it e bhagavati sura bharati and we must ask ourselves what's the point of writing this essay on a visit to the zoo it's just going to be filed right and the child knows it and that's why they're not motivated because they know at the end of the day this is an arid exercise just to fulfill some academic uh, claims and aims but in we're not running a school for money we're running a school because we want to educate young people the root word e ducto to draw out to draw out the very best from young people labels are only for bottles not for human beings but today we are more interested to label uh, our children like like dyslexic adhd hyperactive uh, autism yeah. marriage of hand heart and mind where children are not just focused on doing businesses okay business yes is is some part but there is a heart involved in that there is a hand involved in that that is a good news good news is that you know we speak about the earth earth uh, the planet is in danger and all that don't worry planet is absolutely not in danger it is there for millions of years but the bad news is that we as a human species we are in danger question here is is that knowledge which is limited knowledge which is also i call it the dead knowledge is it getting us ready to deal with the real life and real world does it have the capacity to meet the needs of the real life so his observation was right but the question was more important how that bird decides that how much time that bird has to spend in stealing and how much time the bird has, has to spend in guarding his nest so he started working on that and unknowingly he was developing a mathematical model for that he went, when the mother tries to help do this that that and so on the child every time says i'll do it on my own then you know the mother asks may i kiss you the child doesn't say i'll do it on my own <laughs> the child lets the mother kiss her and then the child returns the kiss both these things make the child happy as well as the mother happy now what the child is picking up is that we will while independence is important we live in interdependent we live in an interdependent world absolutely so instead of going in detail about the philosophy i will like to share with some idea some activity which even you can implement in your school and my biggest enemies were those whose children did not get admitted to our school because poverty was a very important criteria and many people could not pass that criteria of poverty they said they were poor but they were not as poor as i wished them to be <laughs> so we had to say no to many people we should look deep into our heart with a selfless selfless and stainless mind we should renounce our earthly pleasure to the people who are still unfed unclothed and unsecured with muscles of iron and nerves of steel we should conquer all the miseries of life these two lines should be embossed on the tablet of our mind my list to go before i sleep and my list to go before i sleep you raise me up so i can stand
People who think that the child is an idiot, stupid idiot, and just have to open the brain of the child and put knowledge inside and then close it and say, okay, one done. It's not like that. Knowledge is from inside. Let it. You know, the, the gardener, what he is do, he's doing, he's putting the seed in the earth, he's putting water, he's ensuring that everything is okay. And the flower, the tree will come on its own. And if the gardener, when the, the flower is starting coming, going every day and pulling the flower so that it will grow faster, <laughs> no, it will not help this. You just have to ensure, let the process happen. The process is because we have no connection to the electricity grid. And uh, from the very beginning, when I first came to India, I realized that there's absolutely no need to have a connection to the electricity grid. You can run an educational community, and especially nowadays, and especially for you people living in the plains. In the hills, we have less sun. You people have more sun. And we have lots of sun in India, and we can run a lot of our equipment on solar. If you think you're too small to make an impact, then you haven't been in a bed with a mosquito. <laughs> so it's every one of you can make an impact. Every school can make an impact. And with just introducing small experiments,